Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Service Bus, and this time we're looking at Topics. So what I want you to do, just like before, is go to the top, we'll type in Service Bus, and we'll go to the Service Bus uh, service. You can still see the old one is there. It should be deleting. That's how slow this thing is. But we'll create a new one, and we will create a new resource group, and we will call it AZ204 uh, Service Bus Topic. We'll say OK. We'll name this service bus topic. And this time, it already exists. And if it does, just dump a bunch of numbers here on the end because it's unique based on that. So it's like not having a domain name if somebody already has it, you're gonna have a problem. And so here I'm going to go to standard because in order for us to use those additional features, we will need to be on the standard plan. So we'll go ahead and hit review and create. And that'll take a little bit of time to create, but while that's going, I'm going to uh, launch my environment here. So this was the one I was just using a moment ago with uh, GitHub. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go back to our repo here. I'm just doing it off screen because I don't wanna expose all my stuff here. And again, if you want to, you can do this in your local Visual Studio Code. I just want to show everything from scratch every time. So here's my empty repo with git pod. And so I'll just close this one and it will vanish. All that code is now gone. I'll hit git pod. This will launch a new environment. It's trying to tell me to open the last one. Nope, I'm going to make a new one for this workspace here. And we'll get going here in a moment. So this namespace has been created. So we'll go ahead and hit create. And uh, I guess it's still making. I, I thought I already deployed it there, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay, while that's going, we'll go ahead and install the Azure CLI. So we'll type in Azure CLI Linux, because that is what we're using here today. We'll go to Linux here, we'll scroll on down, grab this one liner here to install it. I'm going to open up my terminal. Your terminal might be somewhere else. Allow, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that on in there. That's gonna install our Azure CLI. As that's installing, it'll be done here in a moment. Let's see if this is done. This is still creating the uh, namespace, I think. And this is still installing, shouldn't take too long. While this is going, we can start grabbing the code for this. So for this, we'll type in Azure, um, Azure Service Bus Documentation. And this I found it under the quick start. So we will go to quick start, topics and services, because there's some code here that I want under the JavaScript. And we have one for send to topic. So we'll just grab that name there, make a new file, send to topic.js. And we will go down here to this other one. This is receive. From subscription, you're going to notice this is very similar to doing a queue. The difference is that you can have multiple subscriptions consume the same stuff. Uh, our CLI is done, so we'll type in AZ login. Um, I can't remember what it is, so we'll hit enter here. I know this is the wrong way, but I just can't remember what it is. I want use device code, that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and grab this, and I'll just hit control C to exit out of that, and then paste that in there. And then we'll do it the way that we actually want to do it. So then we will go ahead and grab this for device login. We will provide the code as suggested here. We will hit continue. We will close this. And it will say that we are authenticated. So we are now authenticated. We can use uh, AZ or the Azure CLI. Um, I don't know if we need the CLI. Well, we have it anyway. At least we had to authenticate, so at least that was out of the way. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna use the CLI in this one. Um, but what we'll do is go to the resource here. And we want to create a topic this time around, and I'm gonna call this my topic. We have a topic size between one to five. You have a TTL. You can do uh, uh, make sure there aren't duplicates. We're gonna go ahead and create this topic. Okay, so just like last time, we need to install a couple things. So if we go to the top here, there should be like an npm install. Here it is, npm install service bus. So we'll paste that on in there. We'll need our .env, so look up .env again, and we will just install it, npm install .env for environment variables. Hit enter. 
we'll create ourselves a new .env file. And we will need to look at what environment variables we are going to need. So uh, it looks like we didn't copy the send to topic content, at least I didn't. So we will go back over to here and go up here and get send to topic. Paste that on in there. We'll go all the way to the top and I'm looking for what we need here. So here we have one which is connection string, whoops. Did not mean to delete all that. So we'll hit process, env, connection string. And we have to spell it right or it's gonna have a problem. And then we have process, env, topic name. I think in this one, it actually also has subscription. So we'll have to have a third one. So I'm just going to copy these two over. So I have to type it a hundred times. And this one will be process env subscription name. You're noticing I'm not having the um, semicolon that is optional in JavaScript. So it won't break anything if I don't have them there. Subscription name. And so these are the three that we'll need. I'm gonna just split this to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna copy this here, paste. Not exactly how I wanted to paste it, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna copy this. I don't think we made a subscription yet, but I know we're gonna call it my subscription to make our lives easy. So we'll say my topic, my subscription. And we'll grab this in a moment. So we'll go back over to Azure, we got too many tabs open here. While we're here, we might as well go grab this code um, before we go back to Azure. So I'm gonna grab, grab this .env config. That is going to load our configure, con, uh, configuration environments. So we go to the top here, paste that on in there for both files. Again, best practice never to hard code your values, always pass it in like that with environment variables. We'll go back to our service bus. The first thing we need, well, we made a topic, but we're gonna need a subscription. So if we go to topic here and click into it, we can create ourselves a subscription. So we'll go here, we'll say my subscription. Notice we have max delivery count. We have to set this between a value of one and 2000. I'm gonna say 12 for fun. We can set the idle. Notice here, if we want to um, have first in first out, we would checkbox enable sessions. We're gonna leave that alone. Does not matter too much for our demo. So we'll go ahead and create that subscription. It is created. Now what I need you to do is go back to the service bus topic namespace. And from there on the left-hand side, we're going to shared access policies. We're gonna click into the root manage shared access. We're going to grab the primary connection string key. The secondary would work too. It's just a second optional one because they always give you a two. We'll paste that on in there. And if this is all correct, these should just work. So now what we'll do is type in node um, actually, we did want the CLI installed because I wanted to show you uh, that there was stuff in the queue, whereas with um, storage queue, uh, when we're doing Azure storage queue, I couldn't show you because um, I just didn't know of a command, I believe. At least I think that was the case. But well, anyway, we'll take a look and see what we can see, okay? Um, so actually, we didn't do it at any time. I wonder which one I did that for. Let's just double check here. I have um, off screen here somewhere my instructions, because I wrote it for one of these. Maybe it was for the queue that we did it. Yeah, I didn't do the last one, but I did an Azure service bus queue show. And the idea was to show you that there was a message count 10 so you could see the queue. But I think that since we saw it in the UI, I just wasn't too worried about it. Now, did I do it for this one? I'm not sure. Yeah, we do a topic show, so we'll do that for fun. But first we need to insert our messages, which are part of the topic send. I don't think we read through these, so let's just quickly read. They look very, very similar to the last one. So you have your messages that you want to send. You create yourself a client. Uh, you create yourself a sender. You create a batch message, send message. Like it's basically identical. Like I can't even tell the difference here, except here we're supplying a topic name. So um, I mean, I see it here. Ah, here, create sender. The topic name is specified there. So I just imagine that instead of providing a topic name, you provide the queue name and that's how it knows the difference. But anyway, what we'll do is go ahead and execute this code. We'll say node send to topic uh, JS. Okay, so it sent the stuff. Now we didn't do this last time, so let's do it this time around. So we'll type in Azure service bus topic show. Um, and here we'll need to set the resource group. So this was called, I don't know, let's go take a look here. 
What is our service group called? It is called AZ204. Bring that down a bit here. AZ204 service bus topic. We need to specify the namespace name. So that's just called service bus topic hyphen seven, two, three, eight, four, nine, because we couldn't get the number we want. And then we need to specify the name. So uh, I assume it's the name of the topic. So the top is my topic and I'll hit enter. And it says service bus name is misspelled or not recognized by the service. Did you mean service bus? Yeah, I gotta spell that right. I'll hit enter. And that looks fine, but I just wanna specify it as output YAML. Just hit up on your keyboard if you wanna go back to those previous commands. I'll hit enter. So this is a little bit easier to read. And so what we're looking for here is just kind of like the message count. Does it show us here? We subscription count. I don't see it. So I guess it's not visible in the same way as uh, the queue is. Like if we did this and we didn't do it in the last one, it would we just saw like that message count there. But let's take a look at what we can see in the CLI to just see what information or a UI that uh, or portal so we can see some information here. So we have one subscription here. We'll click into here. Um, we have max size. Incoming request 12. Um, yeah, I don't really see it. Message count 10, max delivery count 12. Okay, so I guess there was 10 and that's the 12. So I guess that's where it's being counted. Let's go run the other one, the receive. And I'm gonna just double check to make sure that we set those. We did, that's all good. So we'll type in node receive. If you're wondering how I'm auto-completing without typing that, I just hit tab on my keyboard. So it's receiving those. Good, and that finish. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh, see if there's any difference here. Notice that the message count is zero. So when the topics were there, it was held in the subscription saying 10 is here and they've yet to be delivered. When we ran it, they were received. And so that number cleared out. That's all we really need to learn for um, uh, topics. So we are done with topics. So let's make our way over to resource groups. And we'll go over to our service bus topic. We'll go ahead and delete this here. Delete. There, it is deleting. We are all good to go. Um, and you know, just as always, don't ever trust Azure to delete these things. Go back and check in three, four minutes. Make sure it's deleted so you just don't have things lingering around. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go.